you welcome back to the civil 3d surface creation series yes i know i'm supposed to be moving to the earthwork series but we're still here because i feel like there's a few things that i need to show you guys and we wrap it up before we move to the earthwork series so on today's episode i just want to show you guys how you can reduce your survey data so that your computer becomes faster yes there will be data that when the survey sent you they are so big for your pc and it takes longer. So every time you save, your computer takes longer. Every time you grade, your computer takes longer. Every time you change something on your future line, your computer might take longer because the, um, the surface is too big. So if, if you come across that problem, all that you have to do um, is to create a boundary. So I'm just quickly going to show you guys how you can create that boundary. So let's say this was our surface, right? And um, the, um, your scope of works was just to uh, build a bridge or a road just over this area. So let's say you are looking at 136 meters. So let's say your scope is just to work on this area, right? But you don't need anything else on the outside unless you want to see um, your catchment areas or how the water is draining but let's say for now you're not worried about the water draining you just want to put your road or your bridge so all that you have to do you come under your home tab uh you um under the draw you click on the one that says polyline and then you just um try to cover the area that you want and you just say close where it says specify next point just close it as soon as it's closed you drop down your definition tab and there's one that says boundaries you right click on your boundaries and you say add so there's four different types of boundaries there's outer one where if you don't want um, the, uh, the anything outside your boundary to show, you click it. There's the height one where you don't want um, to show whatever that is inside your boundary. But there's one that says data clip. Data clip will help you because it reduces your data. So you click on data um, clip. You can give your, your, your boundary a name and call it data one. And you say, okay. So here on the command tab it says select object you select your data your boundary and you say okay so um you can see that the boundary is there but nothing has changed that's because according to civil 3d if this the surface was created by from points by the way so if this surface is from points it expected you to first delete the points that you didn't need and only import the points that you needed which was points around this area so in our case, um, we are lucky because we'll just go NGL, you write, um, you go under surface properties, under the definition tab, and you must just click the, uh, swap the two around. So you are now starting with data clip and putting your files below. Voila. So now you have a smaller surface that you can work with. And it will be quicker and faster for your PC. So if you are having this problem of um, reducing your survey size, please, please, please try what I've just shown you and see if it doesn't help you reduce the hours that you were supposed to put into doing this work. I hope this video has helped you. Until next time. Bye.